we saw that David's son took it and David subscribed to a technology the moment his son became sick David started fasting the question you ask yourself is how did he know that the way to handle this sickness is not just to look for herbs but to begin to fast what is the connection between fasting and the healing power how did he know that's why they are called patriarchs they know what you don't read in the textbook are we together because David knew there's power in fasting and the moment the child died David went and took a shower he said well what's the point is that is dead so there's no need to fast anymore so David knew one of the reasons men fast is to generate power and because I can't generate enough power to keep him alive the fasting has ended so J David defined to us the jurisdiction of the mystery of fasting that power is the jurisdiction and that was not the only case in second chronicles chapter 20 verse 30 verse 3 we saw that three nations besieged a king called jehoshaphat the armies were greater the strategy was superior and jehoshaphat knew even before the battle that he was already defeated and instead of jehoshaphat to start looking for human connection instead of jehoshaphat to start emergency training program jehoshaphat gave a commandment this army is superior to us but there is something we can do to engender an intervention that gives us advantage beyond the physical and he said a fast was proclaimed and all israel began to fast the question you want to ask yourself is what does fasting have to do with military intelligence people are coming with bows and arrows who told you that by stopping yourself from eating you can mobilize forces that can counter the intelligence of an army not of one nation but of three nations put together their weaponry is superior to yours it means this man understood something that our generation don't know when a man has a little problem he's looking for all the relevant contacts in his phone that's his first point of reference but people who live many centuries before guns were created knew that there was a power that was superior to everything natural and it's unfortunate that even till date having read the bible for 10 years some persons have not excavated what the men of old who didn't have scripture knew because in the days of jehoshaphat there was no bible they were reading you could just find scrolls and parchments of prophets but how did they have this kind of intelligence do you know what it means to risk your whole nation a nation is coming to fight you when you should begin to look for human connection when you should begin all kinds of training you tell everybody drop your weapons let's go and seek the lord in fasting how did you know that what you are doing is not foolishness that will cost the whole nation because they knew something that was deeper than mental knowledge when you find believers who don't fast you just know you are seeing people that can easily be destroyed see when we speak boldly in the lord it's not just because of what God has promised. It's because of what God has revealed we must do in order to claim those promises. If you know what God has promised alone and you are not doing what God says to do to inherit those promises, you will still be a victim. I can't tell you how many persons who have told me I will die. But I know some things that are more, they are more assured than even the visions I see. I've had dreams before when I'm about to go for a meeting I was in the coffin and people were weeping they were burying me and I was watching myself being buried when I didn't understand certain things because some things have their foundation in God nothing can shake them when I started growing in understanding I now told myself if I was the one watching the barrier it means I'm not the one how can I be watching my own barrier and then I went further to tell myself how about the programs God has committed to my hands? I'm not yet finished. How about the sacrifices? How about the fasting? How about the prayer? How about the prophetic word? And I've discovered certain dreams can be mirrored by demons in order to frustrate you from doing God's assignment. I stop praying about those visions. And so when the devil shows it, I say, okay, when I come back, remind me of the dream because I'm about to hit the road. <laughs> but you need to understand the power of these things. A king can drop bows and arrows and go against three nations just because he fasted and prayed 
there's something about fasting you don't know if you know it you will know that that business can't fail if you know it you will know those people who rose up and cost you they were wasting their time if you know it you will know all those men that ganged up against you they just wasted their destinies because the time they should have used to invest in their destiny they are using it to wait for you to die they will wait for a long time the people who gave you a lifespan of success they will they will grow old and they will still see you do great things and the worst case scenario is that their followers will now know that they are liars <laughs> do you follow don't be intimidated we have things that are immortal fasting is one of them we saw david put it to work we saw a king risk the destiny of his nation on these things and they didn't fail did you even read that in ezra chapter 8 verse 21 this guy was traveling to go build jerusalem and armed robbers bandits all forms of criminals were waiting to attack them and the bible said if you get it from new living translation it will be better that ezra declared a fast the moment they finished fasting god didn't speak the man knew that for they having fasted they are already invincible and so he finished fasting and started going forward and no bandit could attack no terror could come on them what did they know about fasting if you know it you become as invincible as they are and so when three when people who have three times your strength gang up against you you will tell yourself if the book if jehoshaphat was able to survive it then fasting has not changed if they tell you this path you are taking you'll be destroyed you will tell yourself if ezra was able to go through invincible it means the power of fasting has not yet been truncated because there is something about fasting that the elders of old knew this is why they fasted it was not a religious activity it was a mystery that stirred power both in the realm of god and the one that is currently resident in your spirit we cannot do without fasting if i have time as i'm sharing i will talk to you about some fastings that i've done if me i, I become fat it will be by a miracle me if i become fat my wife knows that since we got married she can count the number of times she cooked breakfast for me it's a waste of food she can even when i'm not fasting my system boots by two o'clock because this, this this stomach it has been compressed in fasting so it's sometime around 3 p.m and i start feeling like i've not eaten i've trained the body so much through fasting that i can't eat in the morning if i'm eating in the morning it's like grass i'm trying to understand what my system is not acquainted to it thank god mr godwin is here we did our masters together I fasted from 2012 to 2017 straight because I was doing three days in a week. I wasn't sensing energy enough for what I was contending for. And so I went on every day fast, six to six, from 2012 to 2017. Those were the days when it looked as if my intestine will rupture. I said, it's better to die qualified for destiny than to live a mediocre. That time he took responsibility of buying Tom Tom for me every day he come he said take tom tom you need it we were writing exam in fasting they say you will die i say i'd rather die qualified to live than to live unqualified to exist there was a time i went to the hospital they said do an all-round body check you have been traveling when they now checked me they discovered the acid content of my stomach was higher because of excessive dehydration they now checked and discovered the wall of my stomach had thickened and the doctor told me this is a miracle because you are supposed to have ulcer but there are few people who if they don't have ulcer their stomach becomes sticky so that the abrasion from the acid will not affect their stomach but we needed to generate enough power for destiny imagine now that sometimes you run a schedule where you can't pray for one week there are, there are times when you travel you are on the flight for 18 hours when you reach you are preaching back to back and then you finish you hit the same flight 18 hours when you come back for two days you are like a dead man we have generated power reserve seven years ago because when god was putting that burden in us he saw today meanwhile you are a young man 
there are battles around you and there's a glorious destiny that those battles will not allow you to fulfill and you cross your leg and say we are the righteousness of god in christ jesus thank you for visiting faith to tech media kindly subscribe and follow us to bless more lives